Hi, this is Jonathan from Clever Tiny Homes. I'm standing outside our 55,000 square foot tiny home factory. It's a Saturday, so things are quiet. And we thought, Asa and I, who's behind the camera right now, we thought this would be a good time to give you a little bit of tour of what our factory looks like here uh, in January 2024. So follow me on in, come on in. All right, we're coming into the foyer at the front of the factory here. It's our general guest welcoming area. We're gonna walk first into the office area. We won't show you all the offices, but we've got HR, supply chain and purchasing, project management, uh, engineering, all those different functions uh, here in the office, meeting rooms, things like this. Well, follow me just right into the center. Let's come right into the, the middle of the room here. On my left is our inventory area we'll look at. On the right, uh, which you'll see in a second, is our main production floor or assembly bays. We have our Christmas tree here. All right, so I'm standing kind of in the center of the factory here. Um, and if you look over here, you'll see our inventory area. We'll take a look at that. If you kind of pan and look behind me here, these are our main uh, assembly bays. We've got units under in various states of construction from uh, trailers that just pulled up. In fact, there's an extra empty bay right there through different stages of framing and through different stages of finishing. So what happens in the basic process is trailer comes in. We do a lot of work uh, in our shop, which we're gonna show you. So there's a lot of pieces that get finished in the shop, which I'll show you in a second. And then it all gets assembled uh, here in these trailer bays. So let's, let's walk over to the shop and look at that. And then we can look at some of the other things that are going on. So this unit right here is, is almost done. We've got the windows taped over. Uh, final painting, final kind of touch up is uh, going on here. This is our employee rest area up there. We've got our planning board here so everyone knows what they're supposed to work on each day, bathrooms. So a key part of what we do at Clever Tiny Homes is a very limited number of designs and that allows us to build things in a much more efficient and assembly line fashion. And that starts with framing uh, and a lot of the aspects around framing. If you look over here, you will see our templates. So all of our walls and subfloors and, and so on and so forth are built off of templates. So we have all pre-designed templates, all kind of optimized, cutlass optimized, all those kinds of things. We pull off the templates uh, onto the big assembly tables that you can see over there. The cutting um, team, there's a, we have a cutting department they pre-cut all the different sizes, template goes on there, pieces go on the template, and that allows us to get you know, very consistent quality very, very efficiently. Everything's framed right, everything's framed perfectly square, uh, and, and there aren't mistakes. Um, and it's not just the framing, but you can see we you know, template out like here's uh, the uh, DWV system or the drainage system that goes in the subfloor, so that's all templated out so we can throw the templates on and then make sure everything's done uh, exactly to how it should be. You might also notice a very large amount of, of wood, and this is another thing that we do. We try to purchase in bulk, direct from manufacturers as, as much as possible. So we recently got uh, from Sierra Pacific from their mill up in Oregon, a, a nice big shipment of beautiful uh, two by lumber, two by fours, two by six, two by eights that are used to frame up the house. Um, we showed our cutting area. Uh, we also have a drum sander, uh, table saw, all those kinds of things. So a lot of things happen here that we can do before the trailer even even gets onto the onto the factory floor. And then once it gets there, we can very quickly go from empty trailer to framed out house. Why don't we head over here, shall we, Asa? In the back here, we're actually working on a lot of expansion and a lot of inventory. One of our key objectives right now, one of the key things we've learned is that we need to hold a lot more inventory in our factory. This has been something we've been working on for a month. We're continuing to work on throughout January and February. Uh, we've been struck with a lot of supply chain issues, de delays, things like this. And so our solution is just to basically be our own warehouse and to buy materials ahead of time and store them here. So you can see we're putting in uh, brand new pallet racks here. We've got a lot more other pallet racks that are putting in place or coming in, and some of what you see here is gonna be organized onto those pallet racks. But here we have our furniture assembly area. So here is 
the furniture assembly table. The furniture comes flat packed from a, a, a very high volume furniture factory. It's all custom design. We buy it, uh, buy the shipping container or actually buy multiple shipping containers. And again, we have over here pre-assembled units of all the different parts of the furniture. So the team knows how to pull out one of these pack, uh, one of these flat packs, knows exactly what it's supposed to look like, and then very efficiently can assemble it uh, onto, uh, the, onto the table here. And so we can put together very quickly an entire house worth of custom furniture quite, quite quickly. And if you haven't seen our furniture, it's, it's uh, we, you know, we think it's just really beautiful. Um, you've got just this beautiful, beautiful oak wood um, finish on it, as well as the, the white for the kitchen cabinets. Um, definitely check out our videos on that. All right. Uh, we're gonna kind of circle around here. We've got some areas that are gonna be uh, some new and exciting things here, but we'll point out one thing. Back here, we have our um, roofing machine. So this is again how we're able to uh, save costs and pass those costs on to you. We buy in bulk the roofing metal material. This comes from Sheffield Metals. Uh, this is their Galvalume. It's the best quality roofing in America. I think also the number one selling. Uh, metal roof in America. And then as opposed to having to outsource and have other people bend it and then, which adds a lot of cost, we actually are a roofing fa factor as well. So we have this large piece of equipment we invested in that allows us to take those rolls and bend it into beautiful, you know, uh, metal roofs that are gonna last decades and decades and decades. Um, all of it spec'd out uh, by Sheffield Metals. The SMI 1.75 snap lock roof, if you wanna uh, look that up. but really high quality roof and allows us to create really big savings and pass those on to our customers. We also have our, our painting booth here, here. So this is another way that we create savings by bringing things in house and then we can pass those on to our customers and create more affordable housing. So we do a lot of the painting and finishing of components in house. Key to that is windows. So we are uh, basically um, certified by Sherwin Williams to do certain window paint um, finishings, which allows us to do these really beautiful black windows, beautiful black doors. Um, that all gets done in house at this industrial paint facility uh, that we have here. This was a, a big investment we made in terms of building out a full proper uh, paint booth. A lot of people ask about uh, the VOCs, and yes, we use low VOC paints, but what this paint booth also allows us to do is, in a lot of our painting activities and our finishing activities, to use catalysts. And catalysts, you know, when you open up by themselves, you have high VOCs and you have to use a paint booth. But what they do is when you mix that catalyst with the paint, it causes that paint to cure a lot faster. And that means that instead of air drying, which is what typically happens in on-site construction, and so you have that slow off-gassing of the finishing, you've added that catalyst, and that makes it dry much, much faster. So it can all cure right in the factory, and nothing's happening once it gets to your home. So we think that's a great part, and it's part of our commitment to uh, creating homes that have you know, very low off-gassing. We've got some of the, the beautiful, you can see here, um, these just came out of the out of the paint booth. So the beautiful um, these go on our on the ceiling. If you're familiar with our design, um, so we take these, stain them, finish them, and it's you know really high quality, beautiful wood that's um, finished in that in that paint booth. We've got our main inventory storage area. This is new. We're continuing to build this out um, significantly. The goal here is that we can store. Uh, not just what you see here, but a lot more. Uh, and so we're not as dependent upon supplier availability for the uh, over 400 different parts that are in our homes. Um, and as you know, if you've been following us, we're very specific about the parts we choose, thoughtful about that, intentional about what goes in our homes. So we're not just kind of randomly buying things to go in. We, we, we choose uh, our supplies with a lot of intention and care. So we got Insulation there, well, a lot of different, a lot of different parts here, and that's our, that's our uh, bulk material storage, and then behind here is our small material storage. So, uh, 
all the small little parts that, that goes into home. And you can see again, it's a lot for us, the model is buying things uh, in volume and bulk. Um, and this basically functions as a store within our factory. So when folks are building the homes, you know, they're not just kind of randomly grabbing stuff. We actually have dedicated inventory folks. As you can see here, they're manning this. Folks on the production floor are coming, grabbing materials. We're logging that. We're tracking everything that we're using. One, making sure we're using the best quality materials. Two, it helps us bring those costs down, uh, which is uh, a key goal of ours. Um, see large amounts of, of paint and catalyst there. I'll also show you, um, a lot of people kind of, you know, assume given where our price point is at, that, oh, maybe we're not using the best quality materials. And I wanna show you some of the materials we're using because that's absolutely not true. And in fact, you'll kind of start understanding what, uh, so let's actually go over here, what our model is. So let's look at um, caulking, for example. That's a key finishing material. That's, you know, one of the first things that often kind of, um, you know, low quality caulking kind of start falling apart. Um, so what do we use? We use OSI Quad Max. And uh, this is at least in, uh, you know, where we're located um, in kind of the Western part of the US. You know, this is, this is some of the best stuff you can buy. If you go into a Home Depot, you go to like their silicon section or a Lowe's and you look at it, um, some of them carry this and you'll see that this is often, you know, three times the price of the low cost silicon stuff. And that's what we use. But as you can see, we're buying it by the pallet full, right? We're not going into a home center and just buying one or two things. We're buying it by the pallet full. And that's, that's a key to what allows us to use the best quality materials, uh, but also really bring our, co our cost down. Is we're intentional what we use and we buy a lot of it. So you can see there's a lot of OSI material there, this OSI material up there. We've got our flooring here. Um, again, here's another example. We work directly with one of the world's largest flooring manufacturers. So this is flooring that you could go in and buy at a very high price from uh, certain flooring retailers. But instead, we go direct to the manufacturer and we buy by the shipping container. Um, and so there's a bunch here, there's more there. Uh, and so we buy in very high volume, which allows us to basically act as a retailer. Effectively, we go to factories and we say, you know, we're not a builder, we're a store. We're stocking a store. Now it's an internal store, but we're stocking a store. So we're gonna buy wholesale from you, and then our store is gonna sell to our construction folks out on the factory floor. And that's kind of our model on the inventory side. Yeah, that's a kind of quick walk around. There's obviously a lot more going on. One thing you might notice, you didn't see any tools here. That's because we have a tool store um, that's in a, a room in the office area where uh, guys come in and check out tools and we, we, we track all that. Oh, mention one other thing. So if you're kind of wondering the set out, set up here, um, so obviously they get built and then we basically take a, a forklift, hook it up and we pull them out and they go out that big door right there. And once they're outside, they get hooked up to the truck that takes it um, to, to wherever the home is going. So we've had many homes happily uh, leave that door onto their final destination and a lot more coming. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, factory tour. Um, we're constantly working on improving the factory. We're constantly making improvements. Just in the last two weeks, we reduced our build time by multiple days uh, by rethinking our processes, streamlining things, investing in more tooling and infrastructure. And that's something we just continue to do because it allows us to lower costs uh, and, and ultimately pass those costs on to our customers. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do an updated factory tour probably in a couple of months and you're gonna see it's gonna look a lot different. All right, thanks. Thank you.